All right, guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. Uh, we got the old uh, differential out. And uh, what you're going to want to do is once you get the, uh, the old differential out, you're going to want to clean all this surface here with a wire brush. Uh, we fortunately have a, an air tool with a wire brush on it, so it goes pretty fast. And then you're going to have excess oil in the bottom of the, of the axle um, where that hole is down there. You're going to have uh, a little bit of excess oil in there. You're going to want to clean that out with uh, some junk rags, get all the big stuff out. And then you're going to want to spray all this and the inside of the axle with uh, brake cleaner. And you're going to want to use this old rags if you got them around and then use a couple clean ones to get the final cleanup. You have four little blocks in there, over there, and there's four little blocks right there. Those are actually magnets. They're in the axle to catch any chunks of metal if you have uh, chips coming off your old differential. Uh, metal shavings such like that so it prevents it from actually rotating in the into the gears So clean those off very thoroughly and then wipe out the whole entire thing after you spray it down with a uh, brake cleaner And then I ran a magnet in there just to pick up any little chunks of any kind of shavings or debris that you might have So after you clean that then you're gonna want to come over here and you're gonna to wanna to clean this very thoroughly. This camera really is having a hard time focusing. And then you're gonna to wanna to clean out any kind of, you're gonna to wanna to spray all this with a, with a brake cleaner. Get a wire brush. I had to use a razor blade to get, the, the old seal was really like baked on there from all the years of sitting on there and the seal. I don't know why this thing's not focusing. Anyways, you get the gist of it. Any chunks inside your, your hub there, you're going to want to check, make sure there's no uh, pieces in there. Once again, spray the inside and the outside after you clean it with a razor blade if you need be and a wire brush. Get all this clean so that the new seal will sit in there and seal properly. If you leave any old chunks on there, you're probably going to get a leak. So like I said, clean the inside of the pumpkin, clean your outer hub very thoroughly and the inside, check for any any uh, chunks in there. I failed to mention on the first video when you pull that axle rod right there, the axle shaft, you got to do both sides. See there's one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. So then same thing on this side, you want going to want to clean all this with a razor blade if need be and a wire brush. Spray the inside with brake cleaner inside and out getting a call right now decline um, so you're gonna want to clean all this very very thoroughly okay and uh, it's, it's basically prep once again if you don't and you put that new seal on here uh, you're probably gonna get a leak if you don't if it's black here you're gonna want to definitely see metal not black so it's not grease or anything it's the old uh, uh, gasket that was on there so you're gonna want to get that hundred percent and then uh, now we're ready. What I did also was I cleaned all the bolts with brake cleaner. Um, wiped them all down to get any excess off. And then this is the plug for the axle. Cleaned all of them down pretty, pretty nice. There's a lot of gook on there. So um, now we're going to be ready for our new installation of the, uh, of the uh, new or the remanufactured differential. Um, the axle piece right there sitting on that chair creeper, uh, I don't have a, a press. You gotta press that T out of the U-joint. Um, and you need a snap rings, pliers. There's a ring, there's a, a uh, I don't know if I can, that piece right there, the round piece, there's a, there's a, um, a ring, a snap ring in there. So you gotta get that out, and then that's one on both sides. And then you gotta, you can rent, you have to buy one from AutoZone, uh, a press, and you got to press. There's a video on there how to replace the uh, the U joint, the T in there. Um, my our mechanic that we call in from time to time has a press, so I'm going to have him do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the, the differential, but he's going to finish up and he's going to press that out of there, put the new T in there, 
and uh, make all the final connection. But I'm actually going to go ahead and and uh, put the differential in myself. Also, from the um, the manufacturer Weller, um, they recommend you use a gray silicone. They don't make a gasket for that, so you got to get a uh, an adhesive that you got to put around all the uh, all the. The, the holes and everything for the bolts. But they recommend that you use gray because they say if you use a black or a clear, the gear oil will deteriorate that seal. So you definitely want to use, a, it's a Loctite 5699 from Freightliner um, that they recommend you use. So also before we put the, uh, the new differential in, we're also going to clean just like we cleaned this plate or this surface here, even though it's new, we're gonna wanna clean, we're gonna wanna take a wire brush to the new differential face uh, before we put install the unit. We're gonna wire brush it um, just to get any excess oil. And we're gonna wanna clean it with some brake cleaner. Um, and then obviously we'll put the seal on and then we're gonna go get the forklift right now. We're gonna put up on the chains and uh, we're gonna, get that wire brush, get it all cleaned off, and then we're gonna have to slide it underneath the truck here, and then we'll set up the forklift coming in through this way with chains, and we'll lower it down into here, hook up our bolts to our differential, lift it up so it's level with the actual axle, and we'll install it. So I'll do a, I'll do a last video on that um, as we're doing it. Thanks a lot, guys.